Hello everyone, it's Judy and you're welcome to Smart Watch Series. Samsung has released a new update for the Galaxy Watch and Galaxy Watch Active. This is the Tizen 5.5.0.1, which was um, earlier released for the Active 2 and Galaxy Watch 3. What this actually means is that some of the features that you get with the Galaxy Watch 3 and the Active 2 and now available on the Galaxy Watch and Galaxy Watch Active. The Galaxy Watch and Galaxy Watch Active were originally um, released, um, launched with Tizen 4.0. Now this latest update, which is a big one, brings some few features to the Galaxy Watch and Galaxy Watch Active. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at what these features are and how you can assess them. We'll be right back, stay tuned. Welcome back guys. Looking at the latest update that, uh, that is now available for the Galaxy Watch and Galaxy Watch Active. If you have not received this update, you have to be patient. Okay, um, I just received mine and I have updated to the latest um, update which is Tizen 5.5.0.1 um, all the way from Tizen 4.0.0.7. Right, so guys, starting with the first feature on the list here, it says enhance notification. Upon receiving a message notification, a chat window appears and can also view images. Um, this feature, like I said before, was available on the Glass World 3. Like if you're on the Glass World 3, when a message appears, when you get a notification. This automatically opens up a chat window and you can also view images with the Galaxy Watch 3. So that feature now is available for the Galaxy Watch and Galaxy Watch Active. For instance, if you go to the Galaxy Watch here, to this message, and you scroll all the way, scroll all the way, okay? So this is a message I just received right now and as you can see, this is one of the images that comes with this particular notification. So you can now view images with the Galaxy Watch and Galaxy Watch Active. The next feature says AR emoji slash bit emoji. You can now send AR emoji and bit emoji through the watch. So when you go down to the options available here and you go to the emoji um, option here, you get a whole bunch of options as far as um, emoji and bit emojis are consigned. There are a lot of options for you to choose from on the Galaxy Watch here. So the next feature says capture. Support scroll capture feature that automatically sends the screen capture image to the watch. Now what this means is that say for instance, um, let's say I want to share my tracked activity with someone. So I will just go to here and I will scroll down to view log. I will scroll down to say running. Let's say this activity, okay? So this is a very long page, okay? So I'm gonna try to screenshot this page, okay? So what this update brings for you is that when you tap on the power button and swipe right, right, that's how to take a screenshot on the Galaxy Watch. So now I have the scroll capture option here. Sorry, okay. I'll do that again. So you have the scroll capture option. You tap on it and it takes you further down. You tap on it, it takes you further down. You tap on it, it takes you further down. You tap on it and then it goes further down, further down, and then further down again. It goes and further down again and further down again. So that's the end of the page. So I'm going to tap on done, right? So this will automatically send this um, screen capture to my phone and as well save this image to the Galaxy Watch. So that's another feature that comes with this update. The next on the list says, if exercising with the watch, the voice guidance is provided through the connected headset. So when you're exercising with the Galaxy Watch or the Galaxy Watch Active, you will get voice guidance through the connected headset. So the next on the list says voice notification has been added for cumulative distance and heart rate data 
during the auto lap of running slash cycling exercises. Again, if you go to um, this is the Samsung get we are still on there. So I'm gonna go back. Okay, um, you go to workout. All right, record workout. Go to workout here, and you go to running, for instance. So when you tap on the settings icon and you scroll down, you can see auto lap here, which I have already set to one kilometer. So you can actually um, change this if you so wish. So every time I get to this particular distance, I will get a voice notification for my cumulative distance as well as my heart rate data. I have experienced this with Glassy World Active 2 and Glassy World 3, and I will tell you that it is very, very well, um, um, helpful and interesting because it actually allows you to see how you are progressing with your workout activity. The last on the list says improve system stability and reliability. So a recap, guys. A recap, the first feature says is um, enhance notification upon receiving a message notification a chat window appears and can also view images. The next it says AR emoji slash bit emoji. Send AR emoji and bit emoji through the watch. The next says capture. Suppose scroll capture feature that automatically sends the screen capture image to the phone. If exercising with a watch, the voice guidance is provided through the connected headset. And the next it says voice notification has been added for cumulative distance and heart rate data during the auto lap of running and cycling exercises. The last but not the least, it says improve system stability and reliability. So guys, this is where I draw the cutting for this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, click on that subscribe button. And do not forget to click on the notification bell next to it to always get updates from me whenever I upload a video like this. Until next time, goodbye.